Hey y'all, thanks for clicking on this video. Uh, today I want to talk about healing in the midst of your narcissistic divorce. The nature of divorcing a narcissist or being in a high conflict divorce is that it just never ends. It's that persistent attack. And so how do we heal and move on from that? I've been doing this for almost six years. And for the first two and a half, three years, I was doing what I'd been taught my whole life and what society was modeling for me, which was to do things. So I was gathering evidence, I was writing affidavits, I was staying up late uh, trying to find counselors for the kids, or I was doing, doing, reaching out, 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 outwards. And really what I was doing there was I was taking the fear and the grief and the confusion and the sadness and the regret and all of those feelings that get activated in my body when I get an email from my lawyer saying we're going to court or when the kids come home and tell me about the terrible things that have happened. I was holding those feelings in my body and while I was doing all these activities to try to resolve the situation, I'm vibrating at that level of those emotions. I'm vibrating at fear and terror. I'm vibrating at confusion and grief. And so what I was getting was just more experiences of fear and grief and confusion. What I started doing instead was just being with the fear, the grief, the confusion, whatever feeling was showing up in my body. So it took a lot to get me to that point. I mean, I almost died. The stress of my divorce and what was happening with my children and what was happening in court uh, had me in such a state. I was in fight or flight constantly. I never slept for more than half an hour at a time. I was shaking. I was sweating, but really cold all the time. I couldn't eat. I couldn't make basic decisions. Like my brain fog was so extreme. I couldn't do grocery shopping for myself. Uh, I couldn't drive. My friends and neighbors were driving my kids to their events and their appointments. This fight or flight, this living in this vibration of fear is real. It destroys your body and it will make you sick. And so I really hope I can get this message through to you. The way out of this is turning inward and being with that fear, being with the grief and the confusion and the anger being with them. And so what do I mean by that? When an event happens, it's an email, it's a text, it's something your kids, something happens. It's this feeling in your body. For me, it was usually around here and it would feel like I'd been kicked, like oh, this tightness. So I would be with this feeling and just really curious, checking in like, what am I feeling in my body? and then being with it and allowing it to be there and letting my body express it in whatever way is needed. So sometimes I'm laying very, very still and just feeling. Sometimes I feel like my heart is breaking open and I'm crying a lot. Sometimes the pain is so intense, I can't sit still and I'm rocking or I'm shaking or I've got to move. Sometimes there's sound that needs to come out. <sighs> or screaming or yelling or punching pillows. The point is the more we can be with these feelings and keep breathing and keep our attention on them and keep softening into them and keep allowing them room in our space, the more they soften, they dissipate, they get less. And when you have this much fear, it's so much easier to manage than this much fear that's taking over your whole body. So now if I'm moving through my life and trying to get things done, I'm trying to get that affidavit done, I'm trying to parent my children, I'm trying to manage these emails with my ex, but I have this much fear, or even better, I've cleared it all and I have none right now. Now I'm vibrating at peace. Now I'm vibrating at calm and safety. And what I'm sending out is peace and calm and safety. And what I will receive eventually is situations and experiences that affirm this peace and this calm and the safety. So our whole lives and all of society has taught us that the way to resolve a situation and the way to do things properly is by doing, it's by working very hard in actions and choices and behaviors. And maybe that works well for some types of work or whatever, but that doesn't work here. It doesn't work. You can't think and do your way out of this. You have to feel your feelings. And 
What we want to do with emotions. Emotions are energy in motion. Emotion. So what I'm asking you to do, what I'm inviting you to do is connect with how you're feeling in your body. Stay curious with it. Keep breathing. When it feels really big, know that emotions always work in a wave pattern. It'll grow, it'll grow, but it won't grow forever. It will come down. It's a wave. Stay with your emotions and allow them to move through your body as they want to. Allow your body to make sound. Allow your body to move. Allow things to sequence through your hands, your legs, down out your feet, out of your tail, out through the crown of your head, however it wants to. We allow them to move through and sequence out of our bodies. And when we do this over and over and over again, and this is the great gift of divorcing a narcissist, is you are being given the golden ticket to self-mastery. The more you can practice this, the more you get triggered, and instead of responding by spreading that negative energy to other people by talking about the story or trying to fix it and do all these works and make all these decisions, the more you can be with the feelings in your body that come up, the less this stuff's gonna bother you. So, you know, two and a half years ago, email from my lawyer would send me into a tizzy maybe for weeks. I sometimes was weeks and months in fight or flight, not functioning, not sleeping, not eating, just fear, 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 fear. Now when I get an email from my lawyer, I think, ugh, and it's inconvenient, but a little part of me is also a little bit excited because I think, oh, what emotional healing is this gonna bring up? And then I stay on high alert. Where am I feeling fear? Where is it? Now I have to hunt for it. Before, it completely enveloped me and consumed me, and it's all that I was. I was like a hunted animal, constantly living in fear. Now, when a trigger arises, I, you know, uh, but also, huh, what can I learn and what can I heal this time? Because every time we turn towards our emotions, instead of going outward, every time we take the time to be with something painful and melt it just a little bit, it gets smaller and smaller. And eventually, these attacks on you and these court cases and these terrible things that are happening to your kids will no longer be a vibrational match. If you're here at peace and safety and they're down there at fear and trauma and pain, it's not gonna keep happening forever. It's not a match. It can't exist in the same field. So more than anything, what I really want you to take home from this video is that healing is possible. And while we can't control the other person and maybe we can't stop these ongoing court cases and maybe we can't, protect our kids from being with this person all the time in the way that we would want. Healing is possible and it is possible for this situation to be one piece of your life instead of everything that consumes your life and everything that makes up your life. Now my life is full of things that bring me joy and bring me hope. I'm creating, I'm learning, I'm healing, I'm growing, and I also deal with this divorce. You know, a couple of years ago, all I did was this divorce. It was everything that I ate, slept, breathed. It was everything. And through this work of turning again and again and again to my emotions and being with them and feeling the pain and melting it away, I've changed myself. I've changed the vibration I'm running at. I've changed the way my brain thinks. I've changed the way my body responds. And now this is a piece of my life instead of the whole thing. And this is possible for you too. I know you can do it because I'm not anything spectacular. I'm just a regular single mom trying to get through a shitty divorce. If you found this information helpful and you want to learn more about what I'm talking about, click like, click subscribe, and hit the notification bell because... This is my whole mission in life is to get this message out there and help other women dig themselves out of these holes, help other women free themselves from the tyranny and the hell that is a high conflict divorce. I did it. I know you can do it. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care.